What's up tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. A true changing of the guard happened in England today. It was a battle of the current number one versus the future number one. Come Monday, Novak Djokovic will be on top of the rankings and the new defending champion at Wimbledon for the first time. Djokovic played at the top of his game and took two hours and 28 minutes to dethrone the 2010 champion Rafael Nadal 6-4, 6-1, He ate a little grass after the win and adds the Wimbledon trophy to his two Australian Open crowns on Sunday. This marks the first time that Djokovic has defeated Nadal at a Grand Slam tournament and their head-to-head -head series is now 16-12, ending the Spaniards 20-match winning streak at Wimbledon. The only other time that they met at the championships was in 2007 where Djokovic retired in the third set and was the world number six. Djokovic made the second and fourth set count with early breaks and set a tone for the entire match. He has compiled a 48-1 record taking the Australian Open crown and four ATP World Tour Masters 1000 trophies among his eight tour level titles. Djokovic said to the crowd after collecting his trophy, it's really hard to describe with words, but it is the best day of my life. I've always dreamed of this. Thank you all for coming and making this day even more special. That's probably my best match on grass. I would like to congratulate Rafa for having a great tournament. Djokovic got through Jeremy Shardy, Kevin Anderson, Marcos Bagdadis, Michael Lodra, Bernard Tomic, and Joe Wilfred Songa in succession to get to the final against Nadal. Nadal went into the match having admitted to the Associated Press that mentally he is in a better position than me, probably because he won the last four finals against me. Standing on the field where he took the title twice, Nadal recalls, Wimbledon is the most special tournament. I can imagine how Novak feels. Djokovic told John McEnroe while reminding him that he is now the best player in the world, I've been dreaming of winning this tournament for 20 years. I did it all perfectly except for the third set. Djokovic will be the 25th player to reach number one and the first person other than Nadal or Roger Federer to hold down the top spot since Andy Roddick held the ranking for 13 weeks from the 3rd of November 2003 to the 2nd of February 2004. The only other man to beat Djokovic in 2011 was in fact Roger Federer. Nadal told the press, seriously, I lost because I was playing against the best player of the moment, the best player of the world tomorrow. And when you play against these players and they are playing unbelievable, the normal thing is to lose. That's what happened the last few times. Meanwhile, there was a dominant display from Jurgen Melzer and Iveta Benesova, who have rounded off the center court with a 6-3, 6-2 win over Mahesh Bhupati and Elena Vesnina. The Austrian and Czech pair have not lost a single set on their way to the title. Melzer won the doubles title last year with partner Philipp Pechner, was ousted by the Bryan brothers, but now takes home the mixed doubles title that was won by Bob Bryan and Liesl Huber last year. What to look forward to next? The Davis Cup. Tennis Now will be live in Austin for the quarterfinal played between Spain and the USA. For some Davis Cup news, David Nalbandian has withdrawn from Argentina's Davis Cup quarterfinal in Buenos Aires against Kazakhstan due to a hematoma, one of the things that plagued Serena Williams over the year that she was gone. The Argentine team will consist of Juan Martín Del Pocho, Juan Ignacio Chela, Juan Monaco, and Eduardo Schwenk. Well, that wraps it up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel, clicking that button right up there. And also be sure to follow Tennis Now as we'll be live at the Davis Cup later this week. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you soon.